Hello again guys, welcome back to the Dev Mr's YouTube channel and this is the Vessel Hosting Platform series. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can host a Next.js project on Vessel. So I have a simple Next.js project right here. This is a blog that I'm currently working on. So this is what the site looks like. This is the home page. As you can see. And then this is the details page. Currently, there are only two pages. Like I said, I'm currently working on the project. So, for us to host it on Vessel, all we have to do is first of all, let me close the development server. You initialize an empty GitHub repository using git init. Then, uh, okay, you go to your GitHub. You need to have a GitHub account. You can use other platforms as well. Like GitLab, but uh, I prefer using GitHub. So you click on new. You give the repository a name. So let me say Sami blog. It's free. Okay, yeah. Next thing you have to do now is create the repository. Okay. So the next step to do now, as you can see, I've already done Git init. That's initializing an empty GitHub repository locally. Next thing you have to do now is come back here and then click on uh, so execute git add git add space dot so that you track all you want a git to track all the files in your github except those ones that are added to git ignore such as this node modules folder it won't this node modules folder won't be pushed to your github because it's quite large this is where all the packages that is being used by next.js exist so um the next thing to do, just copy from this line right here. Come here, paste it, click on enter. You see it's pushing to GitHub. Also for the project, I'm using um, Tailwind as the UI library. So, okay, it's done. So if I refresh this section right here right now, okay, so you can see all our codes are here. Next thing that you have to do is go to the vessel dashboard click on add new projects now uh okay as you can see it's going to be listing the projects in your github by the latest one so as you can see this is the one that we just created click on import as you know um the Producers of Next.js are also the ones that did Vessel, so they support it out of the box. You don't need to do any special configurations or anything like that. So remember in an earlier video, I showed you guys how you can add environment variables. If you don't know how, you can check it out. Uh, as you can see, it has detected the framework that you are using, which is Next.js. So you don't need to do anything. The only changes that you might have to make is maybe you have environment variables in your project and you just add them right here. Click on deploy. Okay, it's gonna take a couple of seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's going, it's going. Oh, why is it taking so long? It's actually even still faster than uh, most platforms out there. That's why Vessel is so awesome. Collecting page data completed. Okay, should be running checks right now. Assigning domains. Okay, success. So you can add a custom domain here, and I won't go into what these other things do. So just go to continue to dashboard. The deployment has been deployed successfully. If you now open the link. Is given to you. You can see it's our project and it's online, including all the images. So you can share this link with anybody and they'll be able to access your project. So, um, in case like you see, Vessel automatically generates a domain for you. Sami hyphen blog hyphen stable. Maybe <laughs> they're trying to spell stable. Uh, Okay, what I'm just trying to say is you can check the previous video before this one. I explained how you can edit the domain 
that vessel generates for you to something that something else let's say uh, more like a different value let's say you don't want this to be there you just want it to be like this you can how you can do this i explained in a previous video so you can check it out if you want to learn more so uh that's all for this video i just wanted to show you guys quickly how you can host nextjs project on vessel so in the next video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can host a react project on vessel so in case this video has helped you in any way please do ensure to give a like and also ensure to subscribe to the channel in order for you to be updated when i release new content so till next time and thanks for watching